Today's question is about ganglion cysts. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and welcome to our winter wonderland for living your yoga today. Today's question is a speak pipe message, and so I will allow you to listen to Susan as she asks her question. Hi, Melissa West. My name is Susan Jarvie. I am a fellow yoga teacher, and I really love your videos and your smoothie recipes. They are awesome. I have be recently been diagnosed through an MRI with a ganglion cyst on my knee. Um, it's inside my knee, really. It's uh, right adjacent to the meniscus on the inside. Um, I only know it is there because of the MRI, but what led me there was my um, uh, pain. So I have a lot of pain when I do child's pose, and uh, I'd like to get rid of this ganglion cyst in a natural way. So I'm wondering if you have any suggestions or magic potions I could um, start drinking or taking to help me to get rid of the, uh, the cyst. So it's a ganglion cyst on my knee, which is unusual. Usually they're found on the wrist um, and other places. But uh, anyways, let me know what you think. Again, I thank you for all of your... Uh, Good stuff you're doing online and bringing yoga to, yoga to the real people. So you're awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Thank you, Susan, for a great question. You can leave your speak pipe questions at our website at melissawest.com. And so to answer her question, we did a similar post about Baker's cyst not too long ago, and I'll link to that in our show notes at our website and in this blog post. And to answer her question now, According to the Mayo Clinic, ganglion cysts are non-cancerous lumps that most commonly develop along the tendons of your wrists, ankles, hands, or feet. And so to have one in your knee is a little unusual. Normally, ganglion cysts are round or oval, and they are filled with a jelly-like fluid. Small ganglion cysts can be pea-sized, while larger ones can be around an inch, about 2.5 to 2 centimeters in diameter. They can be painful if they press on a nearby nerve, and the location can sometimes interfere with joint movement. So I imagine in, in the knees and the wrists, ankles, they can do that. Normally, a ganglion cyst is treated by having it drained by your medical doctor with a needle, so it's important to seek out medical attention for your neck ganglion cyst. I am a PhD in communications and cultural studies and a yoga teacher, and so the treatment of a ganglion cyst is mo li most likely falls out of the scope of my practice. A ganglion cyst can also be removed surgically, although if there are no symptoms, some ganglion cysts have been known to go away on their own. So in researching for this blog post, I read an article by one doctor, an MD, who felt that ganglion cysts are a result of joints that are not moving properly or joints that are under constant strain. And he felt that the synovial lining in the joint got irritated to the point where it began to squeeze out from between the bones in the joint, creating a ganglion cyst. So if this is the case, it's important to look at the way your knee joint is being strained on a regular basis, or it's true of any other joint where you may be having your ganglion cyst. So if it's in your wrist, and this is really common for yogis to have it in their wrist. Um, so the tricky thing about knee joints is that the problem often comes from neighboring joints, either your hip joint or your ankle joints around your feet as well. So I would recommend working with a chiropractor, a physiotherapist, an osteopath or a naturopath, or any other health care practitioner who has experience in mobilizing joints properly. No amount of yoga is going to make that cyst go away, like I said in the Baker cyst video. So once you have your MD drain the cyst with a needle, you can look at the root cause of the cyst by correcting proper range of motion in your hip, knee, ankle joint, and foot movement. For that, I would recommend the following videos. Yoga for arthritis for your hips, which focuses on good movement of the hip joint your range of motion in your hip joint, as well as building up strength around your hip joint. Yoga for arthritis for your knees, and again, this video focuses on proper range of motion through your knee joint, as well as building up uh, the strength of the muscles around your knee so that you have good support for your knees. Yoga for ankles and feet, and 
those are all linked to in the class and they're part of our shop and some of them are part of our membership site. And then I have a free class um, that is part of Namaste Yoga on lining up your hips, knees, ankles, and feet. Now season also asks for either a juice or an herbal remedy for ganglion cysts. And I looked at all my resources and unfortunately I wasn't able to find anything <laughs> for that for her. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, this is really something that is outside of the scope of my practice for the most part. And you really do need to look to your medical doctor for. Thanks for watching this video. Leave your comments at our website on our blog at melissawest.com. For more tips on how to take your yoga off of your mat and into your life, visit AskMelissaWest.com and have Melissa's videos delivered directly to your inbox. While you're there, ask Dr. Melissa West a question. She may answer your question on an upcoming episode of Living Your Yoga.